Uh, Judge Napolitano is here. Judge, uh, three hours from right now, James Comey is going to be in the center square over the Senate Intel Committee. Yesterday, he released a seven-page, 3,100-word explanation of his interactions with President Trump, who, according to his personal at attorney, feels vindicated because Mr. Comey, in his document, said, yes, indeed, three times I told Donald Trump he was not under investigation, which Donald Trump said as president, and people poo-pooed it. I know Mark Kazowitz well, and I respect him, and he is a great lawyer, uh, but I disagree that this is a total vindication. I, I think the way this is worded, there's something in there for everybody. There's enough in there for Republicans to attack uh, former Director Comey and defend the president. There's enough in there for Democrats to defend former Director Comey and attack the president. And there's a lot of parsing of words. What was the president not being investigated for over the incident in Russia or over the connection between the sure. campaign uh, and the Russians? I would assume it's the collusion. However, do you have a fundamental uh, problem or do you think it's right for the Democratic picking for him to say, I'd like your loyalty, when it's been, you could say that he's asked that from everybody he's in the cabinet? You know, it depends on what he means by loyalty. And again, I don't right. want to sound like Bill Clinton. It depends on what the meaning of is is. But you and I are, are loyal. We doesn't work mean together. We agree. Right. It doesn't mean we. And, and when we disagree, we'll talk to each other. Uh, I thought that Director Comey's um, sort of transmogrification, a, a kill me word. Which I just used. Right. From loyalty to honest loyalty mm -hmm. was very interesting. That's what we have. We are, we are friends, we are loyal to each other, we are loyal to our employer, but we're honest if we have a disagreement or if we discover something that, that has to be now, addressed. Now, Judge, how do we know that he was asking him to be loyal when it comes to Mike Flynn? Because they did speak. If you read his testimony, they spoke about leaking. What if he was talking about leaking? I expect you to be loyal and not leak well, that, information. Well, that's why we have this interrogation today, mm -hmm. which I originally thought was going to be a dud now I think it's going to be absolutely incendiary Why? because there's so much in here to ask questions well, about. So, for example, if you're a Democrat uh, senator, where do you go with Comey when it comes to the questioning part? Did, did you feel the president was trying to influence mm -hmm. your decision as to whether or not to investigate General Flynn? Well, yeah, of course he was trying to influence it. He didn't succeed, but he was trying to. That's meat and potatoes for the uh, Democrats. Remember... The, and for, for the Republicans? And, and for... You try the, to hurt his credibility, right? Right, right. You either try and hurt his credibility, or did the president say anything to you that made you do your job differently? Mm -hmm. No, I did my job as I... I was stunned when I was fired. I did my job as, as my conscience told me. Doesn't, doesn't the yeah. fact that the president is not under investigation and the FBI director told him that three times, January 6th, January 27th, and March 30th, so you have doesn't to, that mean that he didn't do anything wrong? No, you have to finish the sentence. The president was not under investigation for fill in the blank, mm -hmm. for his concerns about those absurd allegations in, in uh, Russia, for his involvement with the, uh, with the transition, for any communication with Russian intelligence. You have to fill in, in the blank. But what I want to say this, I do not believe that a strong case of obstruction of justice comes from this document. It's just, it's just mm -hmm. not there. But this is not a courtroom right. in which you have to prove all the elements of the crime because the, this, this is politics. And if you create the impression that the Democrats can succeed today in creating the impression that Donald Trump inappropriately used the power of the presidency to protect his friends, then the president loses. If the Republicans can create the impression that Donald Trump was the chief executive officer of the, of the federal government, is the person who runs and is responsible for and accountable to the people for what happens in the executive branch, and is entitled to tell the people who work for him how he'd like them to do it, then the, Republic, then the president will prevail. Sure, and the mainstream media and uh, there have been a lot of leakers have tried to present the impression that Donald Trump tried to stop the investigation. Yesterday on Capitol Hill, 24 hours before James Comey sits down, we had the top I intel chiefs and they made it very clear, Judge, and we're going to play a soundbite, they never felt the president pressured them to intervene in the Russia investigation. Listen to this. To the best of my recollection, I have never been directed to do anything I believe to be illegal, immoral, unethical, or inappropriate. And to the best of my recollection, during that same period of service, I do not recall ever feeling pressured to do so. I have never been pressured. I have never felt pressure uh, to uh, intervene or interfere in any way and shape with shaping intelligence in a political way. He may not have felt pressure, but if he's even asking 
to me, that is a very relevant piece of information. And they did say that they would say th certain things behind closed doors that they would not say in public. Now, you just saw both sides uh, of the argument. Did he ask you to talk to Jim Comey mm -hmm. about Mike Flynn? I'm not going to tell you what the president asked me. Were you ever pressured to do anything unlawful, inappropriate, or immoral? No, I never was. Follow-up question. Yeah. Would it have been unlawful, inappropriate, or immoral for you to have called up Comey and say, Flynn's a great guy. No, it wouldn't have been right. immoral or unlawful right. to have done that. So, so there's a lot of parsing of words, Brian. Right. We're going to so, see more of it today. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we're going to see that, and we saw some of the anger. Uh, the decision for Coates and for Rogers and the Deputy Attorney General uh, to not answer that question. Is there a legal grounds for them not to say, yeah, the president pulled me aside and talked to me, no. but I didn't feel pressure? Very, so, very unsettling and, and disheartening for because me. Because Rubio was as exasperated as... I, I think Senator Rubio was correct. I think Senator Angus King was correct. If you're under oath and you don't want to answer a question, you have to give a recognizable legal reason for not answering well, the question, uh, and they couldn't do we, it. Can we watch a little of that? Let's take a, little of, uh, let's take a look at uh, that sparring. Here's Angus King. Is there an invocation by the President of the United States of executive privilege? Is there or not? Not that I'm aware of. Then why are you not answering because our questions? I feel questions? it is inappropriate, Senator. I, what you feel isn't relevant, Admiral. Why are you not answering the questions? Is it an invocation of executive privilege? If there is, then let's know about it. If there isn't, answer the questions. I stand by the comments I've made, and I don't mean that in, in a... in a... in a contentious way. Well, I do mean it in a contentious yes, way. I don't understand why you're not answering our questions. Mr. Coates, same series of questions. What's the basis for your refusal to answer these questions today? I do not believe it is appropriate for me to What's the basis? I'm not satisfied with I do not believe it is appropriate or I do not feel I should answer. You swore that oath to tell us the truth and today you are refusing to do so. What is the legal basis for your refusal to testify to this committee? I'm not sure I have a legal basis. Oh. He was honest. Well, what do you mean you decide? Uh, Senator King was, in my view, 100% correct. And the, and the witnesses just didn't want to give an answer. And they do not have the liberty to do that without stating a legal basis. I commend Director Coates for saying, I don't have a legal basis. I just don't want to talk about it. Guess right. what? You're a witness. You took an oath to tell the truth. You don't get to decide what to talk about. The questioners do. Sure. So Judge, what do you think? What, what do you think I, I, think, I think it probably, my guess is the answer would have implicated some national security matter. And they didn't want to discuss it in public. So there's something called the national security privilege. That's what their answer should have been. Why they didn't say that, I don't know. I also suspect there are some pieces of the puzzle that we don't know about yet, and we may learn about it from uh, Director Comey. Robert Mueller is coordinated with Comey. What does that <clears throat> mean? Absolutely rational to do. Here, here think of this. Comey's the prosecutor. Excuse me. Mueller's the prosecutor. Comey is a potential star witness in some forum, a grand jury, a trial jury, a, a House investigation committee. You really going to let your star witness go out there? and blab under oath and not regulate what he said? Or are you going to go over with him ahead of time what you want him to say and what you don't want him to say? Think of Mueller as Comey's mm -hmm. lawyer. Perfectly appropriate. In he's going to say he's going to pass on some questions. Correct. If they didn't collaborate, that would be very bad lawyering on the part of both of them. All right. Thank you, Judge. It'll really? be an exciting day. Yeah, I gotta yeah, tell you. I know, absolutely. <laughs> I'll start two I hours. I want to change your clothes, Brian. I don't know how I'm going to be here. I'm just going to change ties. <laughs> absolutely. Thanks for that. There's a shower right behind. Thank yeah, you. Yeah.